Hey there, this is Ian Perry, Project Supervisor here at Candrone. Hi there, this is uh, Ali Reza, Project Supervisor at Candrone. We're here today to talk about these two drones by DJI, the Matrice 30T and the Matrice 350 RTK, and we'll discuss what the best drone is for your solution. On M350, uh, you can have interchangeable uh, payloads on it. You can have P1, you can have LiDAR sensors, you can have multi-spectral, you can uh, choose as you wish. With the M30T, you do not have the option to interchange the payload. You are set with this one payload sensor. However, there are actually four different types of cameras. You've got the wide angle lens, the thermal lens, the zoom lens, and the laser rangefinder. On M350, you can hot swap batteries as you go. So you can go with your missions without turning off the drone. And likewise here with the Matrice 30T, you can also perform hot swap battery changes, getting you back up into the air very quickly. On M350, with the choice of the P1 camera, you have a mechanical shutter, which is the best choice for photogrammetry missions. With the M30T, you have so many sensors packed into this bundle that you can have a variety of use cases on hand, such as photogrammetry, similar to the 350 and P1 platform, but also dipping into thermal for the purposes of first response, including search and rescue. On M350, uh, you have so many vision sensors, upwards, downwards, and backwards, and forward sensor that will protect you while you're flying, even if you're uh, flying beyond vision line of sight. With the M30T, we also have obstacle avoidance technology in the form of the stereoscopic imaging and the infrared imaging when light is diminished but you still need to avoid obstacles. That would be six sides for collision avoidance, just like the M350. A large screen on DJI RC Plus will give you good visual while flying, as well as you have programmable buttons on the back of the controller. Just like the M350, the M30T utilizes this RC Plus. This drone is not married to this controller, so I can take this controller and pair it with a different M30 or M350 in order to control that airframe. On M350, you have a top mount that you can put your sensor spotlight and connect it directly to your DJI flight controller with these two inserts. One of these ports is OSDK and the other one is PSDK. Similarly, the M30T also accommodates top mounted sensors like spotlight, megaphone, which can be powered right off the top of this airframe. On M350, you have so many interchangeable options such as RGB, multispectral, thermal, or LiDAR. And with your red, green, blue camera, what is the benefit of having a P1 as opposed to the red, green, blue camera on the M30T? The P1 um, on M350 will give you a mechanical shutter, which is the best kind of shutter for photogrammetry emission. So this M30T drone, it dabbles in a number of different use cases. You're going to have a great thermal camera, which is really good for any kind of first responder work, search and rescue. I would say that inspection and monitoring work is very, very good with the M30T. Because it's a smaller drone, it's easy to assemble. You don't have to attach arms and legs and it's going to have the same kind of hot swappable battery capabilities as the M350 and other features we've reviewed already. So we've described some of the similarities and differences in these two DJI drones, the M30T and the M350. If you like this video, subscribe to our social media channels and visit candrone.com.